Despite the fact that it's a couple days past Thanksgiving, I still seem to find myself surrounded by two turkeys. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. Yeah. Turkey number one. <laughs> Captain Mark Kornoski, troublemaker, uh, fishing charters. I will have his particulars in the description below. We are fishing Lake St. Clair with this gentleman and Mr. Ben Stone, turkey number oh. two. Uh, ben and I met in Iowa and had a fantastic time. Uh, ben knows uh, Mark and some of the boys out here at St. Clair, uh, uh, the same ones I do, so we decided to make a trip out here and do a little filming. Uh, we are doing some musky fishing. It's cold. Uh, we've got a little bit of slush showing up on the reels. Um, if you hear mine and Ben's reels screaming uh, as we fish today, uh, that's just the cold, so don't mind that. But yeah, I'm gonna get to fishing here. Uh, we're throwing big medusas. Ben's got a big swim bait. We'll take a look at that real quick. Look at that sucker. So he's gonna be chucking that. We got, uh, Mark's gonna be throwing a Poseidon. I've got a Medusa. That's the real, if you could hear that, that was, well, that's, that's what's like going on. Drinks, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's enough goofing around. Let's get to fishing here. All right, folks, I'm starting off with a Husky Medusa. Um, that's uh, sort of standard fare for this time of year. Huskies, monsters, we're looking at 12 16 ounce baits that we're throwing. I'm throwing it on a 2020 assault stick, shock and awe with a 500 tranks. Mark's running about the same thing, aren't yeah. you? You got a saltist on an assault stick with a uh, Husky yeah. Dusa. Yeah, ghost walleye. Ghost walleye Dusa, and Ben is throwing a uh, interesting looking bait. We'll uh, take a peek at it here when he gets it in, but it's a swim bait from overseas, I believe. Take a look at that puppy. Yeah, look at that guy. That's pretty sweet. Got the external harness on it. We'll see if we can get that bit. And that's what we're rocking. One. Nice. Jackpot, baby. <laughs> I guess there was one on this <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the I was. Uh, and he's like, there's one. I just went over to check out the side of the gene because Mark <laughs> said there's two fish, and then there's a muskie in the net. Awesome. Nice. Uh, it's a nice fish. Uh, it's kind of funny, kind of comedic the way this played out. Mark was uh, telling us that there was muskies on both sides of the side of the machine. I went back to look, and as soon as I turned my head to look at the side of the machine, I just felt the lightest tap. And uh, luckily, the hook stayed in the fish. We're going to take a look at this guy. Oh, nice fish. Nice and stout, really fat fish. And uh, we're gonna get this guy back in the water. There she goes. Doesn't take long with that cold water. Awesome. Let's get back at it. Oh, that was a fish. Oh, yeah, right there. I just set the hook into one. It, I didn't. I didn't even feel it. It was just weight there. Oh, the yep. I, I stuck him, my rod loaded up for like a half second, oh. and then just popped out. That sucks. 
All right, well, so far so good. Uh, ben has a nice fish in the boat. We didn't bump that fish, but it was probably, uh, you know, a 43, 44 inch fish. So a good one to be sure. Shortly thereafter, I had, I had a fish hit and sort of sallied the uh, hook set. It uh, took me a little bit by surprise, so I uh, didn't quite get the hook set I wanted to. Uh, but that's a contact with two fish. We've been marking a ton of fish on uh, side imaging, so there's definitely fish in here. And uh, it's cold out and it's snowing, um, so musky fishing, everybody. Fall musky fishing. Um, but yeah, we've got fish in here. Uh, we're just the, the windows are so small this time of year and I think that's what we're running into even though there, there are fish here we just have to wait for them to open their mouths uh, who knows maybe the uh, the wind or wind and the uh, snow will get things going but uh, yeah I'm gonna stop yapping get back to fishing and see what we can do like, if it eat, like, like I'm not gonna not let it eat right like, yeah I'm not supposed to but like I'm like fishing it's like I'm like, yeah yeah can't stop a fish from eating, man. It's like, am I gonna go out and post about it? Like, oh, I must get fish. fish! Grab a camera, I'll get a net. Oop. Let's see how big. Oh, okay. Oh, back. Oh. Wow, I'm really not that big of an idiot. <laughs> that was a terrible Woo. first shot, but we made up for you it. You bumped me, and then I, I'm like, did I just get bumped? <laughs> also, I'm like, oh, yeah, I did. All <laughs> right. <laughs> There we got her. Captain Kornoski for the win. Nicely done. Yeah, I'm going to get a close up here. Beautiful fish, man. Putting the weight on. Cool, man. All righty. There it is, buddy. Ooh, that water cold. Knuckles. There we go, Mighty man. Knuckles. Good job. Most people would be miserable in this. <laughs> I'm not going to say we aren't, but that helps a lot. So, um, like we said, the windows are short. Uh, if that fish hit, that means there are others that might. So we are going to see if we can get yet another musky here. But we're already at two, so we are happy as can be right now. Fish. Swim big time. Yeah. Buddy, come on, buddy. Where you at? Oh, oh, right there it there. came off. I just finally saw the color of the fish. And that's when it popped off. Wow. How can you fight it in that far? <laughs> uh, that sucks. It was a smaller fish. It was a smaller fish. Brian, what happened? <laughs> I lost a fish. I've lost two fish now, in yeah, fact. You guys have uh, capitalized on your bites, and I've got uh, one hit that stayed on for fractions of a second, and then one 
all the way at the end of the cast. Fought it all the way to like right there. Just could see the fish. We're just, you know, Mark's getting ready to net it and <laughs> hooks popped. It's like how they can fight that far in. Bump, light, 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 light. Yeah, it was a really light bump. I mean, these fish aren't whacking these baits at all. It's just, it is a light tap it's amazing at best. How they slow down this time of year. This, yeah. They just kind of just get that. So, but it's uh, like Mark said, swim bait time, man. Uh, other than that hit I had on the uh, Husky Medusa, Ben's, Mark's, I mean, two Poseidon fish, and then uh, what is it, the flat nose you were throwing? Fat nose. Fat nose, okay, so pff, swim bait time, baby. We gotta keep doing this, they're hitting. Oh, just had a fish miss. Just had a fish miss right at the boat. This way. <laughs> uh, it was it was another like uh, 40 inch fish maybe. Okay. But yeah, he just he came up and he didn't really take a hard shot at it, but just he was right behind it. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whew. one heck of a boat ride in. <laughs> Whew. This is, uh, you know what, this is fun. But this is crazy too at the same it's an time. Adventure. It is an adventure. <laughs> uh, big thanks to Captain Mark Kornoski, <laughs> Triple Maker Fishing Charters. Uh, come out to Lake St. Clair and catch you a muskie, preferably in the summertime. But if you want to do <laughs> fall, we can do that too. Um, uh, big thanks to him. Mike Ducci, uh, thanks brother for letting yeah. us use uh, your uh, boat. Uh, Mark's blew up a couple days ago, so we're in Ducci's boat. Um, ben Stone, another first for him. First Michigan muskie? Yeah, first St. Clair muskie. On yeah. The list. So it was all in all a good day, even though I didn't catch anything. <laughs> but as long as somebody <laughs> in the boat puts something uh, in the net, uh, I'm Got happy about pants. it. I did catch a pair of pants. <laughs> we didn't film that, but I did catch a pair of pants. So um, we need to get this boat dried out. We need to charge batteries. We need to get ready for tomorrow because we're going to do it all over again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully there'll be more to come. Folks, I will see you on the next video.